Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today I'm going to talk to you about CC Cycle 2, Week 8, Hands-On Science Experiment, which is the Proportional Solar System. And this is a fun um, just demonstration of understanding our solar system a little bit better. Now we haven't gone over you know, the planets and um, different objects in, in space yet in our new grammar that will come up in a few weeks. Um, but it's just, we're already familiar somewhat with, we have planets in our solar system, we have a sun, and this is just to demonstrate um, kind of a proportional layout of, of how far apart the planets are in our solar system. And so, you know, just like you can draw a map on a small piece of paper of a town, but that's not really how big the, you know, the town is in real life. You can make a proportional drawing of it. So we're going to make a proportional model of our solar system. And I like to use uh, Nicole Liam's science scripts from CC Connected. She just has some really good questions and um, if you kind of get stuck, just some good conversation points of, you know, what to talk about during these science experiments. And again, if you ever get stuck, you know, if you're tutoring and you kind of feel like you get stuck in the, the experiment, always just ask another question. And that's just what we're, we're modeling for the students and just modeling, just having that curious wonder about creation, about our universe. And so just can't go wrong with just keeping asking questions. And so um, our foundations guide on page 190 has the materials list you'll need for this experiment. And um, you'll need a beach ball for your son and you'll need just different size beads. Um, you'll need tennis balls, golf balls, soccer balls. You'll need some marbles. And these are gonna kind of show, okay, if this if the sun is was this big then like mars would be this big and i believe this one is is for mars yes so it's kind of a comparison okay if the sun was this big then mars would actually look this big and uh, so what you're going to do and you'll need a tape measure and our foundations guide has the distances that you're going to lay these out from the sun, so you're gonna start, you're gonna either have like a, if you have a flat outside space you can use, or even like a long hallway indoors, um, that might be ideal because there will be wind and it'll be pretty flat. Um, but if you do do it outside, you can try to use um, something that will keep the balls from rolling away, whether that be, you know, like a hula hoop for the beach ball or um, some Play-Doh or something to stick to the bottom of some of your balls to keep them from rolling away. That can be helpful too. So um, the first thing you'll start with is your sun. So you'll put this at one end of, of your large space and then you'll use these measurements. So this might be a fun, if you have multiple foundations classes, this might be a fun um, experiment to do together with all the classes and the, the older students can help with the younger ones with the measuring and the placing um, of the different balls that's a that's an idea but this column here inches is tells you how far away from your Sun that you will place each each planet in your asteroid belt um, so you'll do that in um, Nicole Liam and her science script also has the the measurements as well so right here in this column and you'll you'll lay it out you'll take the different size balls the proportional sizes you'll you'll ask questions okay how many planets who knows how many planets we have in our solar system and what are some other things that are found in our solar system we have an asteroid belt. Well, what is an asteroid? And just kind of get their thoughts and ideas of what an asteroid is. You know, ask them, what is a comet? You know, we have comets that come through our solar system. And we had one come through not too long ago, last year, I think, and, um, 
or earlier this year and we got to see it through telescope so um you know we have planets we have the sun but there's also these other space objects um, that we're going to learn more about in new grammar um, but just kind of ask questions and see what they know about those so you're going to kind of lay it all out and that will give them a really good visual of kind of what our solar system looks like we could line all the planets up and then it's a really good time to talk about or just observe and attend, okay, how much bigger is this soccer ball than the marble? Like Ju this soccer ball represents Jupiter and this the marble represents Mars. See how much bigger Jupiter is than Mars. So not all the planets are the same size and not all planets, they're not evenly spaced. That'd be an interesting observation. You know, we have a lot of, you know, about half of the planets are fairly close to the sun, and we have about the other half that are kind of spaced out uh, farther away. And, you know, what is helpful about being closer to the sun? We talk about being on planet Earth. You know, being this close to the sun, it allows us to be neither too hot or too cold allows there to be, you know, liquid water on our planet. You know, if we were farther away from the sun, that water would be frozen. And if we were closer to the sun, it could boil and evaporate away. So God placed our planet in this perfect spot in our solar system um, so that we would have everything we need for life. And so observing the different sizes of the planets and the different distances there's also information in your guide in, in Nicole's um, table here about, you know, how long a day is on each planet, how long it takes for the planet to spin around one time. So on our planet, it's about 24 hours, but that's not the same for all planets. And so um, there's different, it gives you those different numbers there. And also um, it shows the the time it takes for each planet to make one circle one orbit around the sun so for earth it's about 365 days but that's not the same for all the planets so mercury the closest planet to the sun goes really quickly around the sun and we've we've kind of demonstrated that with some of our other experiments and planets that are farther away move more slowly around the sun so neptune takes 165 years, 165 Earth years, to make it all the way around the sun. Whereas Mercury only takes 88 days. So those are just um, some interesting ob observations. And it also tells you how many moons each planet has. And that's in your guide as well. So some planets have no moons. Some only have one or two. And Jupiter, it says, has 66 moons. So just think about that. If you could look up in the sky and see like 66 moons orbiting your planet, that's what that would be like. So just some interesting facts about our solar system. Just some, you can pick and choose which data points you want to talk about. You know, how long a day is, how long their orbit is, um, how many moons they have. And you'll just take some time um, spacing out the different size balls and just seeing what our solar system looks like and learning more about it. So this is a fun experiment and um, have fun with it. So I'll talk to you guys soon.